Hi, I'm Nancy Tennyson, and these are the 10 things I can't live without. Let's start with tea. There's no denying the fact I'm a tea granny, and nothing I love more than just plain old Lipton's Yellow Label Tea. Don't give me all this fancy kind of stuff. I just like plain tea. For me, it's kind of like a hug in a mug. I don't even think I'm really into it for the whole caffeine experience because I really drink it pretty weak, according to my mother-in-law. I don't drink coffee, but there's just something so soothing and relaxing and just <sighs> about a cup of tea. When I go away down south, I bring my tea with me. I often pack up a little bit of tea, a couple of bags, because if I go out and they only have Earl Grey, it's not going to cut it. Just give me plain old tea. The Dyson Hair Wrap. I hate to be telling you that this really, really expensive hair dryer is something that I can't live without but it's something that I can't live without. I do not have great hair and I need all the help I can get. And when I got this, this has saved me like so much. I used to have to go and get my hair blown out all the time. This, I can do my hair in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes tops and it stays and it's wonderful and I cannot even travel without this. This is a lifesaver. When we went to Italy, I was told that you can't use a converter with the Dyson, so I had to go without and I got something else. And let's just say it was a vacation of really bad hair and a lot of baseball hats. I'm a skincare addict, many of us are, and there's one thing that I keep trying different brands, but I keep coming back. SkinCeuticals, the vitamin C serum. There's just nothing that can top this. I like it because it gives me the kind of smooth texture to my skin. And I really don't wear foundation, uh, almost never. And I just find that this just gives me that finish that when I put the moisturizer on top and then like a little bit of bronzer, I call it a day. And I've tried so many other ones and yeah, it's expensive, but this, this is the cream of the crop. You are not gonna get a better vitamin C serum than the SkinCeuticals and I cannot live without it. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, or maybe not even for a while, you'll know that there's not too many times that I'm not talking about Greek yogurt. And that's because there aren't too many days that go by that I don't eat Greek yogurt. I just love it. It's the best, easiest, fastest, greatest form of protein. I can add so much to it, either savory or with my love of berries. I always have it. When I go away, we have it. And you know, when we go to the Bahamas, it's a fortune in the islands to, to get Greek yogurt, but that's one we really just have to kind of bite the bullet on because Greek yogurt, it's right up there. Okay, I don't know if any of you use this product or have heard of this product, but I discovered this a number of years ago and I really can't get dressed without it. I have bad, bad earlobes. They're really stretched out and it's not just from getting older, although that doesn't really help, but you just can't get your earrings to sit properly. And you know, there are those plastic discs that you put on the back, but they're not comfortable. These ones that are just like little pieces of surgical tape, really, that you're putting behind your earlobe and you put the earring right through it and it makes them stay up. One lasts you two to three days, depending upon. And honestly, I couldn't wear earrings without this. This is really an essential and especially from a jewelry lover. And in, when I go to work and people come in and sometimes the earrings are not sitting properly on them and I put these on them and it's night and day. I cannot recommend these highly enough. Always, always have them on hand and use them every day. They are a lifesaver. The iPad, all right. I don't have a laptop and I don't have a desktop. I'm really not that computer savvy, but I couldn't live without my iPad. I do all my research for my videos on here. I do a lot of online shopping on here. I have all my Kindle books on here. Every day I do my Wordle and my connections that I do within our family little group. I do that on here. And do you know what? It's just the greatest. And it's like, it has, I put ideas in here. It's a must have for me. So this one's gonna sound a little bit funny, but let me start by saying that I have pretty thin lips. I've never had lip filler in my lips, and but I always want to wear lipstick. 
and I do have those lines, those little lines on top. So I need lip liner, all right? And I would rather have a lip liner than a lipstick because me with just lipstick, it kind of looks like it's smeared all over my face. But I particularly like these Sephora lip liners because they're kind of creamy. They don't drag across your lips. And I can even just fill in my lips with this lip liner if I don't have lipstick and that will just last. The one thing that's not great about these is they only come in these little tiny travel sizes. I wish they would make them bigger, but they don't. So whenever it's the Sephora sale on and you get 30% off on Sephora, I buy a whole whack of them. And I tend to buy the same two colors, rose and rosewood are the two that I wear most of the time. And then kind of fill it in with a few of the other ones, red, etc. But this one is really for me, I just love it and I keep going back to it. And I keep trying all kinds of other lip liners, but yet these little Sephora ones, they're an essential. Back to the hair. So I don't have greasy hair. It's not falling. It's not like I need the dry shampoo to absorb oil because I really don't have that much oil in my hair. But this is works like a texturizer. I just, when my hair's just looking flat or just like no style left, I just kind of zap that underneath, fluff it up and away I go. This, this is a number one seller in my house. Let me tell you, my daughter, Victoria, I don't know what she does with this stuff, but man, she goes through a lot of it. But this, I love this. And it just makes such a difference, especially if you don't have a lot of body in your hair and it's flat. I could just curl my hair a little bit more, put this in and it looks pretty fresh. It smells good too. As for the dry shampoo, I've tried a bazillion brands. Don't waste your time and don't waste your money. Batiste, it's the best. So we all know that sun is a no-no and I am just the queen of sunscreen, but there's something about the little bit of tan that just works for me. And these are my two go-tos for my face. I really like the Clarins. Um, the, the key is to just kind of rub, make sure that you're rubbing it in enough, especially up near your hairline. And because I don't wear foundation, that just gives me sort of a little bit of a glow. So these are two, uh, the Roche Posay and the Clarins that I really like for my face. Now for my body, I'm not as fussy over which one, but do you know what? I have all kinds of broken capillaries and little veins on my legs. Have you heard of that saying like pretty from far, but far from pretty? So you get up close and it doesn't look too great, but you put some self tanner on and boy, oh boy, what a difference. The key again is the rubbing in. I like using different brands because some go a little bit more golden, some slightly more orange, but when you mix them together, not mixing them together at the same time, but maybe one, one day and then one maybe three days later, and it really makes a difference. And I love the look that it gives, especially for my legs, which are really kind of white and pasty. And this kind of kicks it up. And I really think that you might want to give that a try. Okay, I'm going a little bit off the reservation here. This is totally not scripted. I'm not supposed to be saying this because the, the next thing is supposed to be my Apple Watch, but I really kind of hate my Apple Watch. And as essential as it is, I really wish that it wasn't essential. And I hope to tell you soon that I don't have it anymore because it's kind of holding me hostage. But so that said, I'm supposed to be talking about my Apple Watch, but I don't want to talk about my Apple Watch. The essential that is really essential in my life is my husband because he's truly my better half. He and I, we just, we just mesh and we've been together since we were in high school and we do everything together. And don't get me wrong. I love my kids more than anything, but we were a unit first. If you're successful with your kids, they're gonna be independent and they're gonna move on and you're gonna come and be together again. And we actually started this channel together as something to do and he's self-taught and does all the editing and he does the filming and he's behind the tripod and I'm trying to get him to come to this side, but he's not coming. But he is really my one and only and is essential to me and I, and I couldn't live without him. So he's really, the thing I can't live without. I'm Nancy Tennyson, and these are my 10 essentials. I hope you've enjoyed the video today. Let me know in the comments some of the things you can't live without.